boy. All right, morning guys. Mark Parash with ProTech Dog Training. I've got Rocky here, and Rocky is about a five, six months, I would almost say, about six months old. Dutch Shepherd, you guys have seen Rocky before. And if you just watched the film on the German Shepherd puppy, I'm just starting on that puppy with a concerted effort towards training him in basic obedience and getting going. Rocky's already been going for a while. If you've seen Rocky, he works pretty good. But I want you to think about some of the things you see me doing with that shepherd to build him, and you'll understand that he's doing these behaviors because I've already done that with him. Every dog is different, so I take things in different orders or I emphasize on certain things to teach him little lessons. With Rocky, I really wanted to work on impulse control. That was the most important thing was the impulse control. So I put that in with him and you'll see that as we go along and the reason is because I know the propensities of him and his, his father and the breed in general so I want to make sure that I emphasize impulse control with him to be able to use it in my training as I build as I layer in these behaviors so Rocky good we've got a pretty good look good yes good boy food target hand we use a lot of food we're going into toys though so I want to show you that as we go along as well let me see if I can get a toy Notice the dog's attitude when he sees this toy, okay? Drive state changes, his whole concentration, his whole attitude changes. I want to worry about that and I don't want to bring in toys because if I do, his drive state's not going to be in a conducive state of mind to be able to learn. Very important. Rocky, nope, come on. Good boy, good. OPA. Good. Keep in mind that he's already got his um, marker words pretty well set. He understands his terminal bridge marker, his duration marker, and his no marker. And no, again, is not something that I want to have you guys communicate in a very aggressive no. I don't want you to think of no that way. I want you to think of no as nothing more than you didn't do it right. I want you to do it again. Or when I say nope, you'll see the difference in attitude. He basically puts a brake on and there's no real heavy force. The reason I say that is because we're human. We have a tendency to have no and we get real emotional about saying no and we want to be uh, forceful. Emotions are a killer in dog training. They're actually a very big tool, but you have to understand how to manipulate with your voice tone all the things that you need to denote. And I do a lot of that. I do a lot of verbalization, a lot of voice tone with the work that I do, because I understand that dogs are very receptive to two things, to a lot of things, but very much so in their environment with the human interaction is voice tone, and body language and they read you like a clock they know exactly what's going on they pick up on that voice tone and if you can use it and what I try to teach my customers anyway is to play it like you're playing a harp have feeling behind it and understand how that works if I get squirrely with my voice I get all excited the dog's gonna drive state's gonna go off the charts he's gonna get a, if I stay calm I talk nice and neutral I go very low the dog is gonna learn to be very calm when I do that if I do it right I'll have that implemented to be able to use as much as I can use anything else in my work. So keep in mind we're training companion dogs. These are executive protection. I don't, in a general sense, do sport. Uh, I have a, I, my personal opinion is that I do much more than that with a companion dog that ends up working to a, to a level that uh, sport really can't do in that regards the way I work my dogs. Uh, whether you're talking Schutzen and some of the other sports, it's a pattern training to the point where it's a choreographed ballet is what I like to say. Same thing, same, same steps, same pattern, always with every dog. So a little different than what I do. All right, I've got Rocky in tune here. Rocky, oh, yay, good boy, good. That's my boy, good. And you notice my voice tone. Good boy, good. Ah, that's a good boy. Good. Couche. Nope. Good. I don't want his elbows off the ground. That's what he got a correction for on that one. Rocky, heel. Good boy, good. OPA. I used English. That's not right. He's, he's French. Couche. Good, good boy, good. Rocky, OPA. And we're going to go to the same toys and watch the difference. The difference is that I've already got the dog built up on this. So you saw I was doing the puppy that didn't even know what to do. This dog has already got this wired. So I've actually pulled away and I'm trying to build to a point where I can stand way out front. Nope. 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 Good. Good. Nope. Nope. Notice his drive state. And I'm just going to wait him out. Good. Might help him a little bit with some body language. Good. Yes. 
Good boy. Good. All right. Yep. Come on. Place. Yes. Good. That's my boy. Good. Rocky. Place. Nope. 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 Good. Good boy. Place. Good. Nope. Nope. Good. So obviously I've got to anchor him and get him to learn to anchor. And I can do that. So you pick up on all those little stuff and you work it as you go along and you see it. And now you know you need to work on it. So I will want to emphasize that I want him to stay anchored to that object and his bull better than he is. Yes, good boy. Notice my pauses for emphasis. When I pause, there's a transition. Chip, hop, kush. Nope. Good. I see. Good. Kush. I see. Kush. And I just flashed on the fact I need to start teaching him a dabu, which is to stand. And I'll start putting that in. He doesn't know to stand yet. So I'm going to do that change of position here coming up. I won't do it today. Kush. It basically would look like this. I'd be next to him, I've got the food, and then I say Dabu, I put my hand over, stretch him out, and right away the food is in his face, so he can do that, and I can keep this as positive as possible. Good boy, good. And this is one that I would probably pair a word with right away, and it's just because he already has a few other things he's doing, and he's gonna pick up on it, I know the dog. Dabu, good boy, Dabu, good, good. So I'll break the rules. The rules generally with commands, we always do it first, we lure it, then we give, give it a name afterwards. In this case, I'm gonna give it a name right away, only because that's what my gut's telling me is to be easier for the dog. Good boy, Dabu, and me. Good boy, Dabu, good boy, Dabu, good, Dabu. Yep, good boy, and then that break. So when I do something, I always break out of it. Kushe, Asi, Dabu, good boy. Keep in mind, he doesn't understand what Dabu even means. I'm using the food in my right hand to get him to stretch. My left hand is underneath his belly, keeping him up, and then I want to try to transition, making this as fun as possible. Dabu, good boy, good, and then the breaks. Yep, good boy, all right, good boy. And then back to your bowls. Good. Basically, it's nothing more than a pattern. Good boy. Yes. Good. Good. And I want to work on something else I'll throw in because he's got enough of a repertoire that he can learn some other things. Look. Good. Good. And notice he's looking right at me. Yes. Good boy. And that's been built, obviously, in there already. He already has the concept for this game. I'm giving him. Nope. Look. Good. Good. Nope. Nope. Not. Good, 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 good boy, good, good, yes, good boy. And right there you saw how a duration marker can work for you. I gave him the good duration marker, he already knows it, and then I transitioned into the break with his release, which is a terminal bridge marker, and I can build on that. And I can get more, look, good, good. Good boy, good. Yes, good boy. And that's a great example of how we can use duration marker into a terminal bridge marker. Rocky, oh yeah. And now I'm gonna go to other patterns that he's already got built in. Oh yeah, Ch -ch -ch nope, oh yeah. Good, there you go. Good boy, good, that's my boy. Good. Oh yeah. Good boy, and here I'm out. After the look, right? I'm after the locomotion. What's it look like when he's moving? Opie, good boy, good. I think that's pretty much what I want. Opie, good, yes. Good boy, good. Keep in mind, there's thousands of hours that go into this. Each little piece. Think of it like a piece uh, puzzle. You break those pieces up, and if you need to, you'll cut those pieces even into the smaller pieces. Whatever it takes. Good. Kusha. Nope. I see. Kusha. Yes, good boy, good. Notice I didn't give him food that last one. The reason he didn't do it right, he's being robbed of his reward. I'm starting to teach him some uh, variable rewards and starting to do things to make him more responsible for him doing what I want versus me helping him out with the food. I see. Yes, good boy. Kusha. Nope. Good, there you go. I gave him a no marker and I still fed him, but that's all right. He understood it.
Couché, correct. Correct. Nope. Couché. No. Couché. Good. Good. And I do a lot of this little trick. Notice I was poking him. That's uncomfortable. I get him up where I want him and I body praising in a straight line. Food goes in front of his face to keep him here. And then there might be a break. Yep. And I'll go back to that asking him to, to down correctly. And I've actually got it where I train my dogs couché, to actually, good, good, to do what I call it correct. I call it correct. So I'll say couché, meaning down, correct, meaning do it right. And it's an attention. It says get in that attention stance. I see. Couché. Good, good. Nope. My hands poked on the lips. There you go. Good boy. Good. Reward gets released in the timing right away when he does it right. And there's a body praise. If I'm going to correct this way and I'm going to make it uncomfortable by poking him in the ribs back here, I'm going to make sure that when I get him up, that I'm praising him in a straight line. I call it body praise. Same thing can be applied here. Here, where I've got him and I want him to sit straight. And I'm trying to convey the thought to the dog to sit in a straight parallel right to my body. So I'll go down, I'll put the hand right here on his neck, the leash is in my hand with a clasp. I don't have any pressure on it per se, but I've got, and I stroke it here and I go right to his rear end and my hand is kind of holding his head and I stroke it and come up and then right to my center line. Because I want the dog to sit straight. That's my positive. Good, good. And then transition, nope. Good, good, nope. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, good boy. Notice I'm giving him a no marker, but I'm also using other voice tone of ah, ah and some other behaviors that I've got that I use. And they know what I want. No. Good. Nope, nope. You'll see him start to go into other behaviors because I'm working real hard on the flip finish. Yeah, good. And what I was having a problem with we're talking about drive state. Remember, a lot of this is all about understanding drive and, and being able to manipulate drive state as you're working the animal. I was pulling out a ball to do this, and what I was getting is a drive state that was really leaky. He was leaking, he started to bark, he started doing all kinds of things that were getting in my way to convey the thought and to teach the dog what I was trying to get him to do. So. What I did is I said, wait a minute, I can't have a ball involved because I'm going to have to fight that and I would have had to put compulsion and force on him to get him to stop it. And instead of doing that, back up to another item, your food, that's in a different drive state and work with that first and get him working with what you want. Rocky, here, good, let me flow with this, good, oh yeah. Yes, good, and there's food involved. So now I don't get all that leaky drive and leakiness from the dog where he's whining, he's barking. This is a high drive dog and that's what he was giving me. So you have to be smart enough to realize, wait a minute, what's causing it? And understand drive states and then say back off of it. I'm not using balls in this anymore. I'm going to almost a static type of work, getting the dog to do the behavior and do it a hundred times, thousands of times, whatever it takes. Till I get the behavior, then I'll bring the ball in and I'll emphasize I want him to not bark. And it's hard with a dog like this because he wants to bark. Here, good, nope, good boy, good. Oh, yeah, yes, good boy, good, good. Watch what happens when I bring a ball. I'm only doing this for demonstration purposes, but you'll see the difference. Rocky, here, good. Good, a lot of people would bring a ball and go right like this with a ball. And that's great, look how much attention I've got. But watch what happens, nope. I've already put in impulse control. That's why he's not touching this ball. He wants it. Oh, yeah. Yes, good boy, good. Yesterday I was getting nothing but barking. I helped him out a lot with my body language there because I was trying to emphasize not to bark. Good boy, good. Out. Couche. I see. Good, yes, good boy, good. Out. And I'll show you guys as we go along how I build this in. But all these tricks come from a, a lot of different information out there. And this is impulse control. Yes, good boy, good. So my marker tells he can break and, and go after that ball. Out. Kusha. I see. Here. Good. Oh, ah, ah. Ah. There's the barking. Here. Good. Oh, ah. Ah. Yes, good boy. Ah. It's my hand, you little turd. You little turd. Good boy, good, y'all. Yeah. Good boy. All right, out. Ah. Quiet. Here. Good. No. Quiet. 
and I'm not going to follow through with this because it has to go into compulsion and I don't want to have that be a part of this. I want to back off to that food like I was talking. I was just trying to demo to let you see what that ends up causing when you change drive state and you go into a ball with a high drive dog like this. So keep it with food and do other tricks to make sure you don't even allow that uh, behavior to develop. Hope you get Good. All right. Good boy. Good. Hope you Good. Hope you Good. Hope you Good. Good. Reward placement. I'm going to do this one over my head. Yes. Good boy. Oh. I messed up. I messed up. There you go. Good boy. All right, guys. Mark Farash with Protect Dog Training and Rocky. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. I'll see ya.